Last week, the team got beaten up real bad as we sailed the first half of our leg from New Zealand to the Minerva Reefs, and the crew was ready to give up. But in this week's episode, we carry on thinking we couldn't have more bad luck, only to discover that we weren't even close to being done. But we don't give up that easily. So yesterday I had my shift and I just tried everything and nothing worked and I got really frustrated. But then at some point I just accepted the fact that that this fight against the wind and the waves, there's no way we can win it. So instead, let's just go with it, play on their team. So I adjusted my sails and went wherever the wind wanted to take us. And I just had this moment of complete calm where I just accepted that this is how it should be. And then the next day, Monica woke me up for this amazing sunrise. It was beautiful. And with the sunrise came the favorable wind. And now, finally, we're actually going to move towards Minerva Reef. So I was just out with Lily. I was going to teach her how to tack by herself. And in the middle of everything, the wind suddenly kicked up to over 35 knots straight from uh, from the north uh, we had or we have way too much sail up so we just had to turn the boat around and go downwind which means we're going back to New Zealand not exactly what we want to be doing at this moment we are <laughs> moving so slowly north and then this happens and we're speeding south so for every minute we go south we have to spend like two minutes going up again we were very hopeful yesterday about Minerva yeah even if the storm calms down we don't know what the wind will be afterwards if we'll, if we'll be able to go to Minerva we're inside showing and suddenly we see that the swim platform where the dinghy is just fell down uh, and the dinghy started to shake. Uh, so now we just have to try to save this. We went down when the swim platform is here, and the dinghy is hanging on. So we put some lines up to try to secure it. Maybe we have to try to save the dinghy, get the motor into the boat, get the dinghy into the boat because this platform, we don't know how long that's going to stay there. on board but the engine secure the swim platform hopefully um, and we are on our way back to Minerva Reef only 24 hours left <laughs> we keep saying that <laughs> but this time it might not be very wrong we'll see we will get there I feel like the universe is telling us that we shouldn't go <laughs> But we are. You might be thinking, wow, these guys have been through a lot. Must be over now, right? Well, let me tell you something. It's not. I went into the bathroom. It's like, ooh, that's a bit wet. So I opened up the locker. And this is what we see. This is all our equipment. And this is a shitload of water. That's bad. Yeah. We shouldn't have salt water in here. There'd be a crack in the bow somewhere. I don't know. Maybe the universe is trying to tell us something. Uh, but we will fight back. As it wasn't enough with all the weather problems. And the dinghy almost fell in the water, breaking our swim platform. And the flooding downstairs there is now a thunderstorm surrounding us we are we had to tack to try to get out of it uh, as best as we could but 
it is right above us now, above us now. So we are, yeah, just speeding up a little bit using the engine to try to get out of it. Um, just to be <laughs> on the safe side, I put our iPad in the microwave in case lightning strikes and it takes out our electrical equipment. The microwave, there's some people say at least it might protect from that. So we put it in there, uh, just at least have something. Um, but. Yeah, Josh is on the helm now, gunning the engines to try to get out. They're coming at us. They're coming at us? Yeah, well, I mean, the wind's pushing all of this towards us, right? At 21 knots. And we can see lightning in all of them. We were going this way. Yeah. Uh, so we tend to go this way a little bit. Uh, but there's also some lightning and thunder. Trying to get out of it before we can turn back onto our course again, hopefully. And remember when we had my interview and you asked me what my biggest fear was? And I said electric shocks. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> Who's laughing now, Helga? <laughs> Not me. Still me. <laughs> yeah, Monica is being the superhero over here, trying to cook us dinner. Let me know if you need any help. We're almost done. Perfect. Very, very close. This is the last thing. Yeah, she's cooking. She has to hold I'm on to these stuff. bowls because Try not to eat everything. the rest of those bowls are on the ground. Over here. Yeah, that's a cold flower right there. And that's the lightning right there. So, so funny how out here everything just changes like from one second to another. Like yesterday, absolutely everything broke. Again, we were like, I don't know if I'm gonna get there. Uh, things went really bad. And then today, I wake up. It's uh, 6 a.m. It's my favorite shift, it's a sunrise shift. It's calm weather uh, and we're almost there. Like we're only a couple of hours away. And now, looking back at what happened yesterday, I'm thinking, what a cool day. Because, yes, all those things went wrong, but we fixed it. We were able to push through, and the highs are so much higher when there's some lows. I don't know. Well, was maybe the best day ever. And now, we get to reach the reward. It's pretty cool. We are just about to enter into Minerva Reef after seven, seven and a half days of <laughs> uncertainty, struggles, and whatnot. Destiny didn't want us to get here, but we did it anyway. <laughs> We just came back from this amazing snorkel just on the outside of the reef. It's just... <laughs> 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 we just came back from this amazing snorkel on the outside of the reef. The coral there is the most beautiful I've ever seen. It was so much color. It was a turtle, it was sharks. Absolutely incredible. Uh, also, idiotic that we went out there without a radio. Uh, we... <laughs> Like we're out there we're thinking, if something happens now, we will just drift for two weeks until we get to Vanuatu. So that was a bit stupid, but what a snorkel. It's incredible to see nature and what nature can do when humans are not interacting with it. So after some incredible diving and 
an extremely remote reef. We are finishing our time up here at Minerva Reef. Um, it's incredibly unique, and most importantly, it's kind of nature untouched. Exploring the reefs, seeing the different wildlife, just existing without humans around for miles and miles is uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, it was definitely a great experience. And spending this time completely offline, something, something to be said about that. We'll definitely miss this place. It's not a, not the kind of place that you just come across in everyday life. So we're very grateful to have the experience to be here, and uh, yeah, it's just it's a really unique place. Peace. And if you're wondering, we're still taking in water. <laughs>